time. Or in your compound, you can see there are a lot of stones. Have you observed these stones? And when you go on a field visit to see the waterfalls, rivers and streams, there are different kind of stones. You can see there are different kind of lot of stones. Have you observed these stones? We can divide these stones into two types. Rocks and minerals. Okay. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about minerals and rocks. Yes, that is our 18th lesson. Let's get started. Look at your book. Turn to page number 100. See, there are two types of stones. One is a piece of granite and the other one is a piece of quartz. So, granite is a type of rock and quartz is a type of mineral. So, how can we identify this? Okay, let's identify. Let's discuss the features of rocks and minerals. Features of rocks and minerals. Let's start from minerals. Yes, minerals are solid. It's a solid component and made up of one component. Minerals are made up of one component and has a crystalline form with a definite geometrical shape. There's a crystalline form. Crystalline form means particles. Particles are minerals. And with a definite geometrical shape. Mischief is a geometrical shape. Crystalline form with a definite geometrical shape. Here you can see page number 101. There are the crystalline forms we can see in the minerals. These are the crystalline forms we can see in the minerals. So, it has definite geometrical shape. So, and these are the minerals we can see in our country. Graphite, dolomite, feldspar, ilmenite, micas and quartz. These are the examples for minerals. And now we can discuss about the rock. Rocks are also solid components. So it's a mixture of several components. Rocks, rocks mean it is a mixture of several components. But minerals are made up of one component. Here rocks are made up of several components. Those do not have definite geometrical shapes. Here minerals has a definite geometrical shapes. Those are crystalline forms. But here, rocks do not have definite geometrical shape. So these are the examples for rocks. Granite, gneiss and sandstone. We have learned about the earth structure in our 8th lesson. On that lesson, we have learned about the earth crust. So this earth crust is made up of this these rocks. Earth crust is made up of rocks. Okay. There are types of rocks. There are main three types. So according to the way they have formed in our earth naturally, these rocks are divided into three types. First one is igneous rocks. Second one is sedimentary rocks. And third one is metamorphic rocks. Rocks. Okay, let's discuss about these three types of rocks one by one. First type of rocks are igneous rocks. Okay, 30 kilometers below in our earth crust, the temperature is very high. So, the rocks get molten. So, below our earth crust, the temperature is very high. So, the rocks get molten. That means rocks are in liquid form. We call that liquid form of rocks as magma. 
liquid form of rock we called as magma. Okay, during the volcanic eruption, this magma comes out, flows out. You know what is volcanic eruptions? Okay, during volcanic eruption, this magma flows out. Then we call those as lava. Okay, so the magma inside the earth crust we called as magma. So the magma come out, we called as lava. Okay, so this lava gets cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks. So, this lava cool and solidified after come out. So, this solidified lava we called as igneous rocks. So, igneous rocks are hard, very hard. Okay. So, what are the examples for igneous rocks? You should know. Granite and basalt. Granite and basalt are some examples for igneous rocks. Second type of rocks are sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. So, you know there are different kind of lot of rocks in our earth. These rocks break into small pieces due to effects of sunlight, rain and wind. Due to the effects of sunlight, rain and wind, these rocks are broken into pieces. We call this process as rock weathering. We call this process as rock weathering. We, we will discuss about rock weathering later. Okay. Okay. These pieces carry by rain and wind. These pieces are carried by rain and wind. Then Settle on land in rivers or sea as layers. Settled several places like land in rivers or sea. So these pieces are settled as layers. As layers they are settled. And also other things deposited on these layers. Other things also deposit deposited these layers on these layers what are the other things these things can be uh, sand particles soil particles dust and also uh, some animal debris skeletons of some animals so these things also deposited in this layer so due to the weight of upper layers lower layers tighten lower layers get tightened and form sedimentary rocks. Okay, understood? So, these sedimentary rocks are not hard as igneous rocks. Do you know igneous rocks are hard, very hard. But sedimentary rocks are not hard as igneous rocks. Look at the picture in page number 102. Here you can see two types of sedimentary rocks. These are examples. Mudstone. Conglomerate, sealstone, sandstone. So you can see the picture. That's a sandstone. And other sedimentary rock. What is that? That is limestone. You can see some skeleton of animals in limestone. Yes. The skeletons of marine animals such as oyster deposit on the bottom of the sea. So these get subjected to pressure and form limestone. So, this limestone also a sedimentary rock. Third type of rocks are metamorphic rocks. Igneous and sedimentary rocks deposit deep down of the earth because of many reasons such as earthquakes. Because of earthquakes, igneous and sedimentary rocks deposit deep down of our earth. So you know in the deep down of our earth there is high temperature, extreme temperature and pressure. So because of these extreme pressure and temperature 
these igneous and sedimentary rocks turn into metamorphic rocks because of extreme pressure and temperature of the deep down of the earth. Igneous and sedimentary rocks turn into metamorphic rocks. So, look at this example. Limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. So, this limestone turn into marble because of extreme pressure and temperature of the deep down of our earth. Limestone turn into marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock. This granite. Granite is an igneous rock. Type of igneous rocks. So this granite turn into knives because of the extreme pressure and temperature. So knife is a metamorphic rock. Okay. Types of minerals. So we can find so many types of minerals in Sri Lanka. Look at the picture in page number 103. There are types of minerals you can find in Sri Lanka. Now what are the minerals? Feldspar, Dolomite, Quartz, Ilmenite, Mica and Graphite. Feldspar, Dolomite, Quartz, Ilmenite, Mica and Graphite. These are some of minerals you can found in Sri Lanka. Now you know what are the types of minerals and what are the types of rocks. And then we can discuss about rock weathering.